Hello guys and welcome to uh, episode 20 and uh, Fraps is really really weird the last couple of days so uh, I did make this crop analyzer and uh, I have a couple of weed seeds over here uh, this is a tier 1 uh, I already did a couple of them this is a tier 1 as well this is a tier 1 as well and this is a tier 1 as well and we'll just be uh, Swapping out some of these guys, and I hope that this actually works because I do not have an index, whether it does or not. So this is a tier one as well. This is a tier one. I'm really hoping for a tier two weed seed because uh, I do want to improve my my crop. Tier one, tier one, and tier one as well. So, uh, let's just put those guys back. It's dark outside. All of you back. Uh, I don't want you there. Right, I'll put you there. Okay. So, uh, I did clean up my mess back here. It's now nice and pretty. Uh, I also, uh, clean up the mess back here. Uh, I do want to grab a couple of torches. I do have some with me. And let's get my tools back out because I have stored them away for the time being. And uh, I might change this back or with, uh, change it to a different lighting. But yeah, what we have here is uh, I created the, the thingy, how you call it again. Oh darn it, I'm so bad at this. I created a lot of word benches. And uh, as you might remember, I also automated a system for uh, making redstone engines, which also includes, of course, the wooden gear. So I requested two entire stacks of wooden gears. And there is just one more thing I think I need to learn the system. So uh, let me grab one piece of wood in here somewhere. I have been chopping trees down, so it should be in here somewhere. Uh, if not, I am... Now, where did that wood go? This wood in here somewhere? I really do not have a clue what happened to all that wood. Uh, is it not in here? Whoops. Hmm. Well, I guess it's, uh, oh wait, it's here. Derp. And we will need one more basic logistics pipe, which is somewhere in this chest. No, not you. You. And we'll grab two of you. And I uh, did tweak my mouse settings a bit, so uh, it will take a bit for me to get used to that, but... Uh, Oh, and by the way, these chests, uh, these workbenches on the corners and such are reserved for some other uh, kind of piping and for uh, special recipes. <laughs> Excuse me, that was bothering me. Uh, and they will be used to uh, uh, get satellite pipes going. So let's open this guy put the wood in there and import this because we will be uh, sorry because we will be doing uh, quite some things with wood eventually and uh, I did figure out a couple of things on how things could have been smoother or such but uh, what the heck why would I bother so let's see what I need to get started today because today I do want to get my uh, my logger, which is crafted with, uh, let's see, a sturdy machine and four diamonds. And do I have a sturdy machine? Yes, I have. I need four diamonds and I'll just grab a stack of glass in here. And I'm going to need another sturdy machine. And um, I think it was an arboretum. 
right, this guy, and it needs gold and glass. All right, so I'll get four pieces of gold. And let's grab crafting. And there are zombies outside now burning. So one thing we have over here is the logger. And the other thing we have is the arboretum. And these two guys will be the guys that I need for my uh, automated wood plantation. So let's get outside. And um, I did pull my sword, well, draw my short sword, darn it. Because I hurt the zombie and it might be a, a creeper nearby because I did let it stay night for a while. Excuse me. And let's see what would be a good spot for our uh, our tree farm. Uh, I think it was like six or seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll put the guy down here. Why not? So let me see. Um, let them be like this. Then the logger will be there. And now, in order for this guy to run effectively, I'm going to need to power it. Uh, the thing is, I don't really have uh, the peat ready to power him the way I want him to. And uh, buildcraft machines do work. But I'm not really sure uh, how that is going to help me out right now because I don't think that the just redstone engines or something would be uh, quite powerful enough so let's run in here and what we're going to need is let me see a lot of coal dust so uh, I will grab a couple of stacks of coal uh, this should be enough and um, I'll start cooking up a lot of stuff, and I'll uh, see you guys when everything is ready. Alright guys, I'm back, and I'm just popping off these two guys. And first I want to make uh, a machine lock, and then I actually need... Uh, wait, I need to teach that guy how to make one. Cool. And then I want uh, one machine lock. And did I teach this guy how to make batteries? Um, let me see. Because for batteries, I'm going to need one of you. Let me see. Two of you. And where is the tin? Tin, 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 tin. And four tin. Right. And what I'm also going to get is, where is it, the cobblestone? And I'll be needing quite some more of this, so I'll just get uh, four of it for now. All the stuff is sipping through here. Alright, cool. And what I'm going to make these guys real quick is uh, some crafting logistics pipe. Alright, and what I'm going to make, uh, let, wait, this guy is a machine lock, this guy, I will make him in count for batteries, import, and now we have the batteries, and let me request one real quick, let's see, one rechargeable battery, please. Thank you. And did this guy have something? Nope. This guy will be the furnace. And you might be asking, why am I making such simple things? Well, everything in time. Uh, I will need another furnace. Oh, wrong button. And let's see. I need one furnace. We'll be sipping along right here cool I'll knock this guy off place one of you here nope not you and we need a rechargeable battery a generator and a machine lock to get a generator 
All right, cool. And let's request one generator. And we will see all sort of stuff sipping right along here. There it comes, there it goes. Machine block, right over there, and we have a generator. Cool. And then we will add one more, which will be uh, probably over here in the middle of it all. One of you, two of you, two of you, and three of you. This gets our solar panel. Cool. Oops, wrong key. I need to press the one. And uh, right now, I'll dump all this stuff in here. Like you, you, like the glass in here, you in there. Uh, might get the coal back here. I want to macerate this as well, just to have uh, a couple of pieces of more coal. Let's see. Put you in there, and I'll put you in there. I'll come back in a couple of seconds. And, whoa, that's a bit of lag back there. Bit of a lag spike. And let's see, I can request solar panels, and I'll request... 16 of those, please. Request successful. Wow. So now I can see all the stuff that's sipping through her like crazy. And this is the stuff I wanted to make. And why would I want 16 solar panels? Well, you remember the Advanced Machines mod? Solar Array. I want the low voltage and I will need one LV transformer. Well, actually I will need two LV transformers. So... Uh, I'll need some copper cables, some copper ingots, and some wood. And let me look. Uh, I have one of those, so I'll need uh, four of you. And two of, well, three copper pieces. And two pieces of you, which was successful. And, uh... This stuff is still all sipping along. Rubber is going in there. Oh, the copper cable, the copper is, well, the rubber is shooting out. What is going on? I don't have uh, that over there. So I'll just knock this off. Ow, saving chunks. Uh-oh, this is bad. I did not expect that to happen. Alright guys, I did mess up a bit, quite a bit, and uh, let's knock this guy off. Um, this one is for this, and let's see which of those guys was for the cable. Not you, not you, not you, not you, nope, you neither. Okay, so this guy was it. I will do something different. I will just make this like this, the copper insulated wire. Alright, so that did went horribly wrong. Um get this stuff in here. Uh I'll dig up here real quick just in case there's stuff lying around. And I can't see. Cobble, please. There we go. Alright, so it does look like this piece or this stuff is uh, nothing to worry about, which is good. Very good. And do I have a piece of dirt? Yes, I have dirt. So that's going to be uh, no problem. Alright, thank you. Wow, I really messed up that big time, didn't I? Grab some coal dust. And what I want to do now is actually grab all this stuff out of here. Because that is just ridiculous. Um, let's see whether anything else is messed up. So you were those, so you won't have anything. You won't. You don't. You don't. Let's see. Nope. 
I think right so I'll be cleaning up this mess here for a bit and I will be right back because me cleaning up my own stupid mistakes ain't gonna help I will be right back alright guys I think it should be fixed and just to be sure I'll request one of them right now now let's see where all this stuff is going okay it's all going to where it needs and as you might remember it does have a lot of stuff that uh, I already went out there and yep we do have enough right now and I will need to make just one little thing I will need to make another provider pipe and let me see uh, I have my basic logistic pipe and what I will need is a provider. There you go. Which is one piece of glowstone dust. Okay, cool. That's all I needed to know. Uh, if I, of course, can find it. There we go. And I'll request uh, just one of you. Do I have some on me? Nope. Alright, so let's just wait for this guy. Cool. You there. You there. Provider. And the stone. You there. And you there. And if it's okay. Yep, I do have access. Well, it, doesn't, it has access. Okay. Cool. So now it also uh, can pull things out of this chest. So let's go and request 15 more of these guys. Uh, request 1 LV transformer. And let me think. I need one more, right? So I have four of you. I need, let me see, three pieces of copper and two pieces of you. Cool. And this time, everything should go as it's supposed to be. I'll let just really hope it does go the way it should be this time. So the only thing it really needs to craft up right now is uh, simply this copper cable. And uh, why isn't it pulling the iron ingots or the copper ingots in yet? If it isn't, I'm going to be worried. Here comes three copper. Here comes more copper. Okay. Good, because I really was worried that it wouldn't work. I will uh, just let all of this process for a while, and it will take a moment to uh, to do all of this, because uh, it does do the uh, the requests in order it received them in. So uh, it won't start off with the things it has available straight away. It will work its way down gradually so uh, I'll be back when this entire system is ready alright so the system is ready I'll just need to craft up uh, one more LV transformer like this cool I'll put you guys there and then these guys like this gives me two solar LV solar arrays and I really overruled that R, didn't I? At least felt like it. Anyway, what I'll need now is uh, some more copper cable, actually. Man, I really burned through a lot of copper cable this time. I'll just get 12. I only have 15 refined iron left off. Uh, and 134 iron. So I'll grab a couple of diamonds actually here. Twelve of them. Yeah, that should be good. Thirteen. Might as well do the trick. Put those guys in there. And uh, where is my iron? It doesn't even show up. Grab one of you. And target. Cool. Just to build myself a bigger supply of iron, as you might see. 
a very big supply of iron. And uh, let's see, I have my copper cable, and what I need now is two more electric engines. And I need 10 gears, 10 ingots, glass, and I will need two of these guys, so 6 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1. So let me see, where is my tin? I need six of you. I need three glass. Wait, I need two pistons. Um, tin gears, I'm going to need four. And I think I have everything then. Let's see. Tin glass pistons. Yep, I do think that's everything. Uh, and just one piece of that. That's not a big deal. Cool, so two electric engines. Now these guys uh, are going to be running quite a while. And in order to get this machine started, I'll just uh, go up here. Back to the place I put my farming engines. Well, my farming factories, actually. And I will put those engines under here. Like this. And does it connect to the side? It looks like it. So let's see. Uh, that really isn't what I wanted to do. So I'll just do it like this. Alright, cool. And now let's get myself... Oh, I don't have any stone, do I? In that case... I'll just make myself some. Handy dandy stone, huh? Ingenuity, no. Emergency emergency resources, yes, that's more like it. So I'll get two levers. And I'll put them... Like this. That should work. And I think this should power those guys way more than enough. Let's see, is it cleaning out the area? Maybe it wants to fill the area first. And dum dum me. Of course, in order to do that, I don't need sand or dirt. I need the tons of the stuff that we created not too long ago. And the tons of stuff we need is called humus. I'll grab four stacks. Run back there. Jump in the water. Jump back up. And let's see. Get you guys in there. Oh, and it is apparently cleaning out the area. I just didn't notice it because it was underneath there. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing it fairly quickly, though. Uh, actually, not quickly at all. So I'll just uh, give it a hand over here. Put you back there. And it is turning now down. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, let me get my portal gun just because I'm lazy and because it is such a cool little toy. I wonder if I grab glowstone by itself and craft them up into blocks like this. 
Is that going to power my tree farm? And I need to be dark outside for this right now, don't I? Let's see. It would be kind of cool if it did, though. Uh, apparently not. So that's a bit of a bummer. But I do still have power. I don't know how much power, but they uh, do still have some power. Now let's see how long. So yes, apparently it is slow, but they do take a while. And maybe if I just need a, a couple of sites less than I expected it to, I might as well just uh, throw in one or two engines on the side over there and uh, let those guys cook along just a bit faster. So one engine is down. Now what else could it be doing right now? I'll go sleep through the night real quick and I'll uh, come back when the thing is finished doing its job. Alright guys, so this plateau is finished. I did heighten up the area a bit over here. And I used stone instead of dirt because stone just looks a bit more sturdy just like that over there. Now, uh, I planted some uh, saplings from the pine trees, though it does appear it just goes along happily with um, the regular trees. Which is okay, it may, I mean, wood is wood, right? So, what am I to uh, complain about? I am going uh, to run back in here. And one thing I want, well, a couple of things I want to grab real quick. Two times the wrong chest are an iron pipe, uh, a diamond pipe perhaps, uh, some stone pipes, uh, what else? I will probably need an advanced insertion pipe if I have those, which is redstone, stone and glass. So let's grab some uh, stone redstone and I have one piece of glass in there all right so you there you there and you there advanced insertion pipes and I think this is pretty much all I need right now cool so uh, wait I do need a transport pipe as well let me see here do I have a trend teleport pipe Waterproof teleport pipe, and that's all I, can, I think. Right, so how do I make those again? Teleport pipe. Diamond gears and glass. Ouch. Uh, one piece of view, and where are the diamond gears? Did I set the system up to make those guys? I don't think I did, so I'll just request two of you, and eight of you. Cool, and I will wait for a bit. There everything comes. Right in time. And a piece of glass. Teleport pipes. Cool. So, uh, let's go outside again. And this time everything should be just fine. Let's go up here. Bum bum. Bum bum. All the plants have been uh, planted already, I guess. And what will need to happen is that um, stone transport pipes from here and here. I will need an advanced insertion pipe over here. And then I want this guy to go over here. Because what doesn't fit, I want to go back. And perhaps the item teleport in that pipe right now should be good. I think. 
Mm. Or do I want? I think I want the thing to be away. One more block. So jump up here. Transmute you into a smooth stone. Put you there. Get my iron pipe over there. Transport pipe over there. And let's see. I need to whack this guy with the wrench. There we go. And this should be uh, connected to the logistic system over there. And it should only uh, put guys to it and not anything else. So I think this should work. Uh, I'm not completely sure. Uh, I have some bones here, so let's give it a try. By making some of these guys grow. Alright. And if I'm correct, that guy should eventually start chopping down a tree. Uh, it is chopping down a tree. There, this reed is chopping down. So this guy is coming through. And those guys are sent down a teleport pipe. And if I go back to base, I should see them landing in my chest. Bum, bum. Let's see real quick. And there is the wood I need. Cool. And I do think they will uh, act as different things, so I'll grab a cactus here and put the normal wood in there. And that should also make this guy sort better for the regular wood. I will run this guy real quick, and I'll go sleep through the night, and I'll be right back. I step through the night real quick, and as you can see, everything here is gone. And if I look in here, the saplings dropped in here, which is good. Uh, and let's see, it did use a bit more of the of the humus to uh, activate this and I actually figured out I will need um, uh, a couple more transport pipes uh, one namely over well I don't need another transport pipe actually I will uh, set this guy to can receive is true or can receive is false I actually think I would want to make a, a different one over here. Uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? Um, what I want to do is get something in from the side. So this basically is the only viable option that there is left for me. So let's go inside and grab ourselves a, a logistic pipe. And what, we'll, what I will need to make that guy is a supplier pipe. And it will be the sur first supplier pipe of the season, so I will uh, explain what it does. I've got my basic logistic pipe. And I need a satellite pipe, supplier pipe, so two lapis. Okay, cool. Uh, here's a lapis, and where is the base? Here's the logistic pipe, supplier pipe. Cool. Now, what this thing is going to do for me is uh, I'll grab a stack of this stuff. Now, what this guy is going to do for me is going to uh, basically request anything out of my entire system back at home to pull in items. Of which I tell it to that I want to have. And in this case, I'll put the guy down here, open it, and partial request sent to yes. I will require a stack of humus at least. So if uh, I pull this guy out and put this guy up and connect it to like frequency 2, can receive as true. And I run back to my base real quick and hook up a teleport pipe to my system over there. Which I will probably do behind the wall back here. 
and I will need a better excess area to it later on, but for now, uh, I won't be down here that much, so I don't care. I'll just start him back, and how the hell did that guy, this guy get loose? So I'll just put you there, and I will call, darn it, and I will call you C frequency 2. And because this is an interjunction now, I will need to go over here, get my request order, well, my remote order ready, and I will need to get one more basic, basic logistic pipe. So yeah, you can see the stuff is uh, being sent the other way. Because stupid, stupid me forgot to think ahead. And this is now a junction. And that way everything will go the way it is supposed to go. And if we go back to our farm outside... And I know, I know, it really is one big giant mess. I'm sorry. And if I jump back up here, remember that I uh, emptied the entire thing and uh, said it was supposed to have one stack of it? There's a Eunice. I'll just put the rest back here, get the saplings back in. You see a fast insertion pipe just happily going along down here, adding up to the total count. And uh, these, these two guys, this is eight, this is eight, so this is 16 in total. And they need 12, so it's a little bit of a surplus power. Um, I don't really care about the sur uh, little surplus power. I mean, uh, it will just happily ride along, and it will build up over day. And when day is, uh, has come to an end, it will inject the power back again in those guys. So that's uh, so that's good. As you can see, I haven't harvested my wheat in uh, quite a while. So why don't I do that real quick? So uh, I clean it all up, and as you can see, that is a ton of wheat, and um, I don't really know what to do with all of this stuff, because uh, I will compar uh, partially convert it down to mulch in order to uh, get myself some more humus, but I won't be running low on humus for quite a while. So uh, I'll get back in, sleep through the night, and... Um, Besides making bread, what else can I do with uh, with this much weed? I might try burning some up in the relay because it is worth quite some, as you can see. And uh, we have quite some more thermalist fuel ready. So let's see. Do I have weed in here as a filter? Yep, I do. So I'll just put you guys in. And, um, we have a bit of a wood, like half a stack. Put you in there. Uh, and I'll let you run for a moment. I will be right back. So I came to my bill room to quickly check up. And, wow, this is a bit laggy. Hold on a minute. Alright, that's better. I don't know what that was. But as you can see, we have been building up quite some fuel in here, and um, our engines are halfway, and our oil tanks are, well, pretty full. And um, I didn't bring any rest and torches, did I? Nope. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, for now, this will just do along fine. Uh, they're half full, so that's more than enough power left. That is... Uh, at least for a couple of days. Speaking of power, uh, I did notice that my uh, my little well. Wait. So let's see how I'm there. Uh, speaking of power, I did notice that my uh, my lap pack is run uh, is starting to run quite low. Not extremely low, but. Is not full anymore, so I'll charge this guy up. 
As you can see, this uh, entire watermill farm over here is holding on just fine, keeping this guy charged super quickly. Uh, let me get my EU reader real quick. No way, I will just uh, calculate this. So these are 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and 3. So that makes 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait. Yeah, 6 times 3. That's 18 watermills. That is a lot of juice flowing in there. And there we go. That is truly a lot of juice flowing in there just straight away. So I think we have made quite some progress this episode. Uh, we did get our uh, tree farm running, which is good. Uh, we uh, harvested a lot of wheat. Well, we well actually that was cut out of camera. We set up a system to automatically sort the the wood it gathered and to automatically refill all the humans it might have lost. And it also filters up the sand just fine. It uh, does keep up quite good. As you can see, we're all uh, happily going along. There's a lot of humans left in there, so no need. We uh, use the electrical engines. So uh, that's because these forestry machines don't really need a lot of power to run. Um, they are very passive. They need some extra boosting power, perhaps, to uh, start up, to get the place built and such. But when everything is built, actually, um, just a very low voltage will be uh, just enough. And before we sh uh, cut off the episode here, I'll just run through the quarry real quick and uh, check which Y level it is on. So, um, I'll just make a portal up here, jump down here to this uh, guy, get myself some breath, and go down again. 49, 35, and 33 it is right now, and oh god, I do not have enough air to get back up there. Uh, Good. I survived. And that was a kind of weird glitch over there. Oh well. Uh, as you can see, this guy is just happily going along just fine. Now this crane uh, is black. And I think it has to do with the fact that... Um, that the uh, uh, drill head way down there is uh, deep in the shadow, deep in the darkness. Because of all the water blocking the, the sunlight. Because yes, in Minecraft, the... This does indeed block everything. So right guys, I think we made a, a good progress in this episode. Um, we came quite far. We can see over there a tree farm just happily running along. We can see the quarry just running along happily as well. And uh, our build craft room with the oil, I don't think the oil is... Uh, even gone completely yet. There's still quite some uh, fuel down there in the ground probably and this is just the first oil well uh, that we uh, excavated in this entire thing. And yes, I did make this wall up here just so, can I, uh, so I can shoot my portals up there easily. And uh, this looks to me like a pretty good wrapping up point. Everything is just running along fine. And I'll see you guys next time in episode 21.